You're watching the Big Three on CBS. In game three of our triple header today, the Ghost Ballers 2-2 two two against the 1-3 and three Threes Company from Dallas. Big Three standings updated after the Aliens' victory earlier over the Ballhogs. Right now, they're 4-1. and one. Ghost Ballers trying to stay in that top six and get above 500. Ed Cohen back with Avery Johnson. Brian Scalabrini with us as well. These types of games, it's week five. We have the Ghost Ballers trying to get to their third victory. Three's company looking to bounce back. This type of game could go a long way towards playoff implications. And then you expect it a little bit more when you're talking about the Ghost Ballers because when you look at this team, they have the capability along with teams, you know, like tri Tri-State, to win the championship. And when you come up short, you don't play your best basketball, you don't play a complete game, then you'll fall short. This could be a big swing game today for the Ghost Ballers. Hey, let's give a birthday shout out to this guy. Chris Johnson is 37 years old, had a big week four game against the Killer Threes. Yeah, I love the way he played uh, last week. Nice job, just staying active, being in the right place at the right time. Look at that lob. Reverse slide dunk. How about this guy? He is the walking bucket for a reason, the captain of Three's Company. And we'll see if he can bounce back the same way Isaiah Briscoe bounced back. He had a tough game last week. Didn't shoot the ball as well, but we know he has four-point sh shooting capability, three-point shooting capability. He can shoot from all over the floor. Let's take a look at the Big Three Heat Vision, powered by Microsoft. Mr. Beasley, when it's at the rim, mid-ranger from four, look out. Yeah, look at him, you know, especially 67% from the four-point shot on the right side. Just this little mid-range, those long twos, it's probably better to step back and just shoot the three in those situations. Oh, and you throw in Three's Company, and the Ghost Bowlers having a little rock chalk Jayhawk. Let's go back to 2007. How about these guys? Julian Wright, Brandon Rush, Mario Chalmers, now with Three's Company, and D-Block, Darnell Jackson, a member of the Ghost Ballers. Up, oh, huddle up. Three of these guys won a national title together, and they're with Scal. All right, so 2007, you guys were all teammates. Who convinced who to join the big three? Who is the lead guy to do it? Nobody? Yeah, yeah. You're not the ringleader? I feel like it would, you, it would have been you. We all want to get out here and compete. I think it's the same energy. We all want to get back. We, we, we competing, but we get to see guys. We're trying to win, but at the same time, we know it's good to see guys. But, you know, now we're about to compete. Who had that off-the-chart swag in college? Who was it? Who was it? Uh, Emo. <laughs> It wasn't me. I'm out. I'm out, too. I think it was yeah, probably me. Yeah, probably yeah, me. Mario. Definitely yeah, Mario. All right, it's Mario. Good luck today, guys. All right, Scout, leave it to Beasley, who played at Kansas State, to ruin the picture for the Kansas guys. All right, roster presented by PNC Bank. Ricky Davis, the captain of the Ghost Ballers. Mike Taylor is confident as any player in the league in Three's Company. Avery, this is a chance with this group on the floor, led by the Captain Chalmers, to get back today in the win column. Yeah, they got to get back in the win column, and it's going to start with Michael Beasley. He rules in the big three. First of 50 wins. You have to win by two. There's no game clock. Shot clock is 14 seconds. And the four-point shot, player must be touching any part of the three four-point circles with any part of their feet. If they make the shot from there, it's worth four points. Uh, the great defender, Michael Cooper, the Showtime Lakers, leading Three's company against the Ghost Ballers. Coached by the Iceman, George Gervin. Got a little offensive and defensive superstars on the sideline coaching. Guys, Michael Cooper was known for his lockdown defense. Remember when he used to have those battles with Larry Bird? And boy, I remember George Gervin. I was a little bit younger. He put on a show back in the Superdome when the New Orleans had the U with the New Orleans Jazz before they went to Utah. Wow, they played games at the Superdome. Yeah. Mike Taylor off the miss, losing his footing and losing the ball. We'll get a tie-up. And the arrow says it's going to be George Gervin and the Ghost Ballers with it. Not one, not two. Four-time NBA scoring champion, the Iceman and the finger roll down in San Antonio. I still remember the Iceman poster that I used to have on my wall. Wow. With Iceman sitting on the throne of ice. <laughs> in the finger roll. 
Jackson short rebound Julian Wright. Larry Bird said Michael Cooper was the best defender he ever faced as Wright scores on the move. It's a quick threes company up 2 nothing. And I think because of how you summed it up, imagine if we could bring the fire, Cooper, against the Iceman. <laughs> yes. We might be a few years past the opportunity. I was at dinner Tuesday night at a restaurant in Dallas, and I ran in the Julian Wright, of all people. Wow. And we had a nice little chat, and he said, Coach, we're going to be ready. He said, three, three. He said, we're going to be ready. I said, okay. He was eating healthy, by the way. That'll work. <laughs> Tuesday for a Sunday showdown. Johnson, too much. Gets his own rebound. Second three on the way. 0 for 2. Third chance for the Ghost Ballers. Mike Taylor. And three missed threes on that trip. I love the game within this game. Watching Mike Taylor and Mario Chalmers go at it. On cue, Chalmers. Hard foul by Taylor. And Chalmers with a scowl on his face. Taylor with a smile on his with the foul. Yeah, there's going to be no backing down from either of these guys. They both are relentless on both ends of the floor. Mike Taylor is the energizer bunny. I don't think this guy, I've ever seen him without energy in his body. And that's what we tell young players. I just met a couple of young high school kids. Your body language is key. Everything. It's not just the verbal, it's the nonverbal. Six nothing lead for the Ghost Ball, three, uh, for Three's Company rather, to begin this week five showdown. Chris Johnson hit the rim, rebound D block. Three to shoot. Taylor pulls up and scores. That's Taylor's go to move out of everything that he has in his basketball toolbox. That's that's his move. That would be his bring the fire move. Hmm. 36 years old. Ghost Ballers veteran. Nice cut and finish. Julian Wright. Chance at three for Three's Company. Wow, what a beautiful pocket pass here. Here's the little pocket right there. Nice job by Chalmers and even better finish by Julian Wright. That's a pick and roll. Classic. That versatility, he's talked a lot about it. Four point shot, Taylor air ball, Jackson to Johnson, and it gets away. Right now, it just looks like Three's company, they're more focused, they're more together, they're taking good shots, they're moving well without the ball, they're just not trying to force feed Beasley the basketball, even though he's the center of attention offensively. Operating on the right side, the lefty rims out. I wonder how much they talk about this as a team with Michael Cooper. Uh, it looked like it hit the rim for the Ghost Ballers. Yeah, he blocked it. And but Beasley, that's going to be the call. Yeah, but this long two that Beasley took in the right corner, yep. we showed it on the graph. Right. That He hasn't made one all year. Up and under, reverse, no for Taylor. Chalmers is open. Beasley sees it, Chalmers, a little too easy in front of Ice Cube, and Ice Cube saying, hey, you'll get that next time. The ball hit the rim. 10-2 start for Three's Company here in Dallas, and a timeout from George Gerber. Tonight on Big Brother, the house guests should expect the unexpected as their challenges and twists test their game plan. It's a new Big Brother tonight on CBS. Speaking of Big Brother, how does uh, Big Brother Ben feel oh. about his new little brother, the new arrival? Is he excited? He was flabbergasted <laughs> when he walked in the house, but Ben Cohen is two years, three months. Zach Cohen, 12 days old, and you know, you've experienced it, Avery, when you see your kids, young, see each other for the first time, that moment, so special. Yeah, and we got a lot of kids here today. I've taken quite a few selfies with all of the young people. They make an old, old guy like me feel good. <laughs> Their parents do, rather. <laughs> and we see a lot of the big three players when they're warming up before the game. They're not necessarily sleeping <laughs> like this young man, but their kids are out here 
working out and rebounding for dad and fun thing to see. It's a long ball out. Yeah. Off the miss, right with the finish. 12-2 threes company, a 10 point lead to start here in game three. Yeah, the ghost ballers, they're gonna need to have a, a, a serious meeting at the mines because threes company, they're just dominating on both ends of the floor. Good start for Three's Company in game three, 12-2, leading the Ghost Ballers on CBS. And Avery, it's been the Julian White Show in the early going. Yeah, I'm not a big rap music guy, but I know there's a song that says, walk it like you talk it. Julian Wright is walking it just like he was talking it before the game. He said they were gonna come out and play with an enormous amount of energy. He's not just talking it, he's walking it and playing with a lot of energy. Let's take a look at the big three heat vision powered by Microsoft and over to Scout. But take a look at this shot chart. Ghost Ballers, really a lot of outside shots and a lot of red. Three's company living in that paint. And you saw Julian Wright, he's making a living down there. That's why they have the 12 2 lead. All right, Scout, Avery, you're the Ghost Ballers. You have Chris Johnson, you have Darnell Jackson. How do you limit those opportunities down low for Three's Company? You got to play the first three dribbles, no second chance points. So that means you got to box out. You got to be able to guard your man without any help. Mm. And part of it is taking good shots so that you can then get your defense set if you missed a shot. Chalmers gets a look and hits. <laughs> The assist that was an assist from Beasley. That's how he's really changed. You know, this week he's not really forcing anything, he's playing really good team basketball. Hey, Jackson boxing out, flips it up and flips it in. Left his feet, but found a way to score. He had a big fella power through, finished the shot. Looking to, you know, sometimes dunks can give the team the energy. <laughs> On cue, Mr. Beasley. Yeah, that was a nice slip right there by Beasley. Just reading the defense. Big screen from D-Block, a fake, and the finish from Mike Taylor. Even though the Ghost Ballers are down by eight, they're playing with a little bit more energy coming out of this last time out. Backdoor, Chalmers beats Taylor to the spot. And right with the nice speed down Broadway. Wow, well, you, you, we've seen those videos called uh, Beautiful Basketball. <laughs> Go, there is company, man. They're playing some beautiful basketball right now with those back cuts. Suffocating. They've iced the Ghost Ballers in this first half. Steele, Beasley down the right. Three's company in command in Dallas. Wow, at this rate, man. <laughs> Three's company, they're going to have what? 20 assists. Seem like they're assisting on all of their buckets right now on their 23 points. And the turnover's a killer. Chalmers fouled. We'll get a two-point shot. We'll see if they decide to bring the fire here. This is just unselfish basketball. Look at a the slip there by Chalmers. No pressure on the ball uh, from the ghost ballers. If you don't pressure passers and you allow guys to just make pinpoint passes like that, really easy. Avery, this for halftime. Wow. Chalmers. Too much. First to 25, gets us to the break. Mike Taylor putting on the moves. So Beasley Wright Chalmers, the key three for Three's Company. Over the top, Wright scores against Taylor. And a flurry from Three's Company to end the break. Wow, Three's Companies, what are they teaching a master's class on passing a basketball? Let's find out from Julian Wright with Scal. All right, what, what is up with you guys today? Moving the ball, what changed from last week to this week? Um, it's just the thing of accountability. You know, everybody can play if they play their best. Uh, we like each other, but we, gotta, we just hold each other accountable. I think everybody has more edge to play defense. The points will come where they come. All right, good luck in the second half. Julian Wright, one of the old Jayhawks, taking advantage for Three's Company to get it to halftime. 
And Three's Company trying to win for the first time since week number one. A 25 to 9 lead at halftime against the Ghost Ballers. Final game of our triple header at the ball out. And Three's Company leading the Ghost Ballers by 16. We'll return to Dallas after these messages and a word from your local station. Halftime of this one in Dallas and the beautiful sounds of Fat Pimp performing at the break of this one on CBS. Reese Company, what a start to that first half, leading 25 to 9 against the Ghost Ballers. Never know who you're going to see in the big three. All right, George Gervin couldn't have loved what he saw in that first half. He is mic'd up for us on the bench for the Ghost Ballers. Y'all ready to play? Yeah, come on. We need to put ourselves in a position, guys. You're going to put yourself behind. All right? Hey, if you... What do you think? We want to go big for a little bit, and then we want to make a switch. Yeah, then we'll switch it up real quick. See what they, see what they look like next few plays. Okay. Then we'll switch it up. Okay. I'll go in there real quick. Oh, he's the best. I mean, you think about the great scores in NBA history. Michael Jordan, 10-time scoring champ. Will Chamberlain, seven-time scoring champ. And the Iceman, four times led the NBA in scoring. Yeah, they're just searching for answers because they're getting dominated on both ends of the floor. Whenever you allow a team to shoot 11 for 12 from the field, man, that's, that's really serious efficiency. And that means your defense is not sh showing up right now. And he's just searching. He's asking his players, hey, you want to go big? You want to go small? They're trying to figure it out. Our threes company led by Michael Beasley in that first half. And it looked easy. And I was the passing terrific from the entire club. Yeah, these guys are throwing pinpoint passes and then combined just the turnovers from the ghost ballers. Uh, nice job getting deflections. Deflections always lead to bad results. There's Michael Beasley. First half numbers. Is that a typo? 92%. They barely missed from the field in that first half. Yeah, I would have gotten that right on the SAT question. <laughs> what is a 11 for 12 from the field? What percentage is that? <laughs> Julian Wright, talk about high percentage. The lane opens and boom. So that's 12 for 13. <laughs> Where does it go from here? That's a 1580 out of 1600. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Davis, push shot, not there. Johnson, the birthday boy, can't finish. Takes it away and he's fouled. You should notice what Julian Wright said. He said, hey man, it's not good enough for us to like each other off the court or even on the court. We gotta play better. We gotta hold each other accountable. That word accountability, man, goes a long way. Now he said this at the top. This is week five. After today, three more weeks to go in the Big Three regular season before the semifinals in Tampa. Championship in Atlanta. Beasley, four points set up. Too much. Right for Chalmers. Too easy. It just seems like everything is going to go the threes company way right now. And we know Beasley can knock down those four point shots. But when you're making shots, and when you're retrieving your misses, it's a long day for any defense. Beasley gliding in and scores. Now, Avery, for those viewers who are new to the Big Three and are watching now with us on CBS, you see the score 31 to 9. This is an outlier as Taylor 6 to 3. We don't get too many games like this. So much has to go right for one side and so much wrong for the other. That's really been the story. Yeah, and this game. You know, it's still not quite over yet because in the big three, you know, we're not dealing with a clock. It's the first team with 50. You can have a swing in momentum pretty quickly. I wish they have a swing in the temperatures here in Dallas because it's 104 outside and we've had probably nine out of 10 days over 100. I wish we could have a swing and get some cooler temperatures here. If you're saying that, as the guy who flew in from New York is Beasley. Nice finish. Working against Taylor. I'm schwitzing yeah. here in Dallas. It is hot. Let's be telling our fans, come on in here to Co-America Arena and, and cool off with us. 
<laughs> Watch some fantastic big three basketball. Final game in CBS. Next three on Vire. The zone. Big three YouTube channel. 33-12, Three's company leading this one. Darnell Jackson back for Davis. Long two. Won't go. Beasley behind the back. The touch to Chalmers. As good as it gets. Beasley with the hockey assist. Passed it to Chalmers, and Chalmers finished. Was that to Julian Wright? Yeah. It was so good, they all deserved the bucket. I know. It, it happened so fast. Ridiculous. Jermaine Taylor asks all the baskets for the Ghost Ballers. Right, jab step. That's against his former college teammate. Working around, Taylor, another look. Too much. Beasley, out to Chalmers. Beasley looking. The drive off the four-point circle, right to the rim, and he scores with ease. Timeout again, Breeze Company by 23. Yeah, you, I just love, love, love great passing and assists. And look at his pass, hockey assists. Beasley to right, right to Chalmers. And look at behind the back here. That was a, that was the right pass. Love it, man. Breeze Company, Paul man. All three's company in game three on CBS up 37-14 against the Ghost Ballers. Download the exclusive Big Three app in the App Store and Google Play Store for exclusive content, highlights, stats, and merch. Download the Big Three app like Avery did earlier today. <laughs> Avery, Michael Beasley, more like a point forward in this one today. Yeah, and he's had an up and down big three start of the season. He's had 26 points in two games and 11 and 10 in other games. But boy, he's been on fire. Uh, he's just been a one-man wrecking crew in a lot of ways, especially against single coverage. You got to figure out how to get him some, get the defense some help. Let's look at the big three heat vision powered by Microsoft. 17 of 21. Wow, I would be so much of a better coach <laughs> if I had a team that could shoot 17 for its first 21 shots. I could have maybe been coach of the year twice instead of once. Wow. <laughs> Dropping the resume <laughs> here in your home city. Taylor, out of timeout, nails the three. So right now you have Taylor and Taylor, plus Jackson, the law firm for the Ghost Ballers. Right, Chalmers, Beasley for Three's Company. Nearly a tip, and hit, hit the rim, and Taylor cleans up for the Ghost Ballers. And three's Company, they came in with a serious scouting report. They wanted to connect on backdoor cuts. Yes, sir. How about the blow by Mario Chalmers. Wow, there's no real team defense consistently right now for the Ghost Ballers, and that's, that's been very problematic. And if you're turning the ball over. Jermaine Taylor taking advantage. His team's down big, but he's made a couple of shots here since the break. Yeah, and happy for Jermaine Taylor to be back. He tore his Achilles back in 2018 in his big three season, but he's back now. Julian Wright, little corkscrew move there. So Taylor, last 10 for the Ghost Ballers. And Julian Wright, what's been a strong game start to finish. Here for Three's Company. He's got 12 now. Yeah, Three's Company definitely don't, they don't look like a one in three team right now. Darnell Jackson. Chalmers freed up by Beasley, wants it for four instead to Beasley. Here's the corner three, rims out. Jermaine Taylor, another one. 13 straight now for the Ghost Ballers. Yeah, and Taylor's been keeping it in, keeping the Ghost Ballers in the game with his three-point shooting. That was a, one of the few mistakes Three's company has made defensively. Beasley last week was three of 18 shooting. Strip there. Taylor for Taylor. Jermaine, no, Mike, big rebound. Jermaine Taylor again, hits another one. Yeah, Green's company needs a timeout. They've gotten a little sloppy here. He has scored 16 straight points for the Ghost Ballers.
41 28 their two-point game not as bad as it was earlier yes sometimes you can get a little careless when you have a, a big lead a couple of sloppy plays for threes company but give jermaine taylor credit man knocking now wearing that left corner three out mike taylor with an outstanding offensive rebound they're still in it. We, we talked about it a few minutes ago. Don't count, don't count out ghost ballers. Avery Jermaine Taylor, 35 years old, played two NBA seasons, 65 games with the Rockets and Kings, 2009 to 2011. Went to Central Florida his senior year in 2009. He averaged over 26 points per game. That was among the nation's leaders. Obviously, number one that year, not surprisingly, Steph Curry averaged 28.6 to lead the country in his final year at Davidson. All right, Grease Company, 41-28 lead. Let's take a look at the big three heat vision powered by Microsoft and over to Scal. Yeah, I saw Jermaine Taylor on the elevator. You know, I drafted him and had big hopes for Jermaine Taylor. He told me it's time for me to have one of my breakout performances. Now, it might be too little too late, but 16 straight points. I don't know if I've ever seen that in the big three. See if he can beat the ghost ballers a little closer here. It was all three's company racing to a huge lead. Chalmers against the Red Hot Taylor. Yeah, now this is the matchup that Beasley should be able to take advantage of this matchup. Gets it back. Fires 0 for 2. Taylor looking for it, has the hot hand. Drives, floater, gets his own rebound. It's funny, those little shots like Beasley missed, with, they were making them early in the game. Chris Johnson, open look. And remember what we talked about early in the game, they weren't force feeding the ball to Beasley. Pass. Boom. His passing has been terrific. Yeah, he, he made the right play on that drive. Timeout on the floor. Grease Company extending the lead back to 15 at 43-28. Ed, there's a book called Good to Great. And teams that look for great shots instead of good shots, they can have a consistent amount of success. Mike, Michael Beasley had a good shot when he put the ball on the floor and created a great shot for Junior Wright. Winning basketball. Just yeah, speaking about the importance of this week, and you mentioned earlier, this does not look by any means like a one and three basketball team, but they've really stayed the course with Chalmers, Beasley, and Wright. We have not seen Brandon Rush or Derek Byers. They feel the importance of this game for Michael Cooper and his club. Yeah, he's been leaning on his three guys, and those guys have come through for him, and they just had an intensity to start the game. Sure, they've gotten careless a couple of possessions. You got to give the ghost ballers credit. Jermaine Taylor wasn't going to just sit by idly and just watch this show, so he started putting on, on a show. Week five here in the big three. Let's review the standings, how it looks. Pivotal week, halfway point of this regular season. Aliens winning earlier against the Ball Hogs. Game they lost Leandro Barbosa to a possible Achilles injury. Hate to see. Trilogy picked up their third win. Tri-State falling to three and two earlier today. Yeah, and Isaiah Briscoe went to work for Trilogy. Man, he was outstanding. Oh, look at this shirt. Wow. Catino Mobley on the right, not on the left. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know. We're gonna wrap up the day. They've got game number six against Bivouac. Catino Mobley and Power. Avery, love the balance they have with their young draft picks. Len Rice Jr., TJ Klein coming in two and two. Bivouac off their first win of the season last week. And Cat's still number one on the best dress list here in the Big Three. Yeah, Nancy Lieberman does a nice job as a coach. And they watch film. I think they practice more than any Big Three team. She communicates with them all week. And I saw this app on her phone with all of the plays. their positive plays, negative plays, opponents, offense and defense. They got about 
you know, 20 different sets, you say, oh, wow, for three on three, big three, how can they have 20 different sets? But they do. Yeah, culture is a big word that's thrown out in sports, and it doesn't always apply. And the big three is certainly unique in that guys are playing with their teammates every weekend in the summer. But if you're to throw the culture word around in the big three, power under Nancy Lieberman, they've established a culture. They sure has. And that's why they, they bring it every year. Jermaine Taylor gets another bounce. What a second half for Jermaine Taylor. Yeah, and Brandon Rush is inserted in quickly to give Michael Beasley a quick blow. So we'll see how long Beasley's on the bench. Rush the fake. Nice pass. Chalmers to the four-point circle. Too much. Mike Taylor. It's been quiet. Went up and was fouled. And they're going to say, not going up. He'll went down on the side. Did you like Chalmers' four-point shot? So they're up by 13. He was he had a wide open cut to the basket. Or you like the four points? As a fan, I liked it. As a coach, <laughs> I might not like it. Is that where you're going? Yeah, I'm just wondering. People have different philosophies. I think if you're wide open for a shot, you got to take the best shot. And the way the ghost ballers are shooting right now, 11 to 2 run. They're down 10. Brandon Rush contested in and out. Tip no good. Mike Taylor pulls up the three, knocks it down. All right, it's down seven. And Michael Beasley better get in this game quickly. Chalmers, quick release, and with the answer, and they desperately needed it. First of 50 wins. Point game for Three's Company. The steal, the miss. The put back, good. And it's two points away from victory for Three's Company. Julian Wright's having his best game of the season. Man, he's playing with a energy and passion, defending the basket. Count the basket for Chalmers. It's over, and Three's Company able to hold on and win 50-36 here in Dallas. Yeah, again, that was all Julian Wright. He came over and contested the shot. And he contested the shot defensively. Here he is, Julian Wright contests, misses the entire rim. Chalmers was smart enough to catch it out of there and finish. Mario Chalmers with Brian Scalabrini. Well, I mean, how do you how do you want to assess that game? You know, they came back a little bit on you guys, but uh, you closed it out pretty easily. Um, you know, today our big focus is to pass the ball, move the ball, and play together. I feel like the first four games we kind of played like individuals. And that's not what I put the team together for. So, you know, I had a long talk with everybody. Everybody agreed. And we tried to come out here and play team ball. Yeah, and and where, where do you go from here? You obviously have some in, incredible talent with Beasley, but you still have to step up and make big shots. Where do you think your team goes from here? Um, we'll hopefully keep going up. You know, this is a good win for us, build up some more confidence. Um, everybody go home, get in the gym, and be ready for next weekend. All right, thanks. Congratulations. Mario Chalmers, game winner in week one. Finishing things off again in week number five. So, big three standings with three games in the books of the six today in Dallas. Aliens, for now, only team with four wins. Avery Three's Company, a much needed victory. Ghost Ballers, meanwhile, have lost their last three and sit two and three. Yeah, if Three's Company come out with this same type of focus over the next, you know, week or two, I mean, they, they can be four and three before you know it. And uh, we'll see what the other teams do at the top. Remember, top four teams in the big three make the playoffs. Semifinals this year in Tampa. The final in Atlanta on August 21st. And again, midway point of the season, the big three ball out in Dallas. For those fans here, you have six games, 12 teams in action. But you win this week, that really sets you up well for these final three games, and that was obviously a much needed W for Three's Company here today. Yeah, much needed win, and and again, they just didn't lean on Beasley. They, Mario Chalmers had his moments, Julian Wright contributed, and then there was a time where, you know, they force fed the ball to Beasley, and he made the right pass. But they just had a tremendous amount of focus, created turnovers. They started off the game 11 for 12. Wow. Can you believe that? 11 for 12. 92%. Yeah, good. 
And then Jermaine Taylor, you know, tried to help the ghost ballers get back into. He went on his own run, 16 straight points. But uh, just very impressed with this win. Grace Company, a winner over the Ghost Ballers in Game 3. Let's take a look at today's monster moment here on CBS. Yeah, Julian Wright played like he deserved to be a part of these monster moments, offensively, defensively. He was a force inside, came ready to play. And like I said, walk it like you talk it. He was talking a big talk early in the week when I ran into him at a restaurant, and he backed it up.